done. Hey folks, welcome back to another Newbie Views Tri Channel video. For this week, we're gonna try one, two, three Italian pasta dishes, noodle dishes, whatever you want to call them. And I uh, saw these in the grocery aisle. And this is called Tutto Bene. Okay, Google, what does Tutto Bene mean in Italian? Tutto Bene is Italian for everything good. Guys, you heard it there. Everything good. So we've got three noodles in a cup, soup in a cup. One is a tomato, fusilli pasta tomato and mozzarella flavor. Check out the macros. I don't know if you can see that. There's that. I also have a fusilli pasta pesto. Check out the macro. And the last one is a mushroom risotto which I, hopefully this becomes my favorite, but we'll see. And here's the macros as well. Now we got these at No Frills. So anybody that has the ability to go to that No Frills, you can get it there. But uh, Tutto Bene, everything good. Now the macros, just to let you know, is the pasta has 820 milligrams of sodium, 36%. So three of these, and you're done for the day for sodium. This has 960 sodium, the most, so only two of these. This has only got 25% sodium, or uh, 560 milligrams. It's still a lot for this one cup. And as the box says, shake, add hot water, stir and enjoy so let's start off with well let's start off with the number one I got my water five minutes is a long time I find for these pastas so I'm not gonna really do it for five minutes I am going to definitely stir it up though because if it's got cheese in it it needs to be stirred up. Now, I don't want to be eating cheese at the bottom for no particular reason forever. Five minutes. We'll see how long it takes to get it all ready to go. Now, as you probably know, Italy is famous for pasta and pizza and all things good. Hopefully, their Insta Cup noodles are on par with uh, Korean, and Japanese, and Chinese noodles. But we'll see. Tutto Bene. Love the name. Love the concept that they've got uh, fine dining in a cup. So number one. I kind of want to wait because I don't really want them to die of flavor fatigue or get cold. But I'm going to wait 30 seconds, a minute. Then I'm going to put this one in and then this one. And then I'm going to go and eat them up. Uh, these were fairly inexpensive for a soup cup. I think they're about a buck seventy-five a piece. So definitely twice as expensive as the Mr. Noodle in a cup for ninety-nine cents. A little more expensive, but hopefully the flavor will be better than the simple ramens that you get with uh, very little flavor to them. So once again pasta with mozzarella tomato the mushroom risotto and then the pesto I'm gonna keep that last cuz I don't really like pesto but we'll double check alright so that's cooking let's do the ris mushroom risotto shake it up good so on the try channel here we're trying to try things out so you don't have to Hot water. Don't boil yourself. This is hot, hot, hot water. 
Right. Grab a spoon. I'm gonna stir it up regardless. And this is a oh, this is a rice dish. This is risotto. Smells like cheese. It smells like oh no. Doesn't smell good. Doesn't it smells like that processed cheese. So mushroom risotto. The last one, probably the longest, will be the pasta pre uh, the pesto pasta. Okay, here we go. They say put 180 milligrams of water. Just fill it to the line, I think. Folks, if you like this sort of content, me trying out things, go ahead. Click the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Share with your friends. Hey guys, there's some classic Good Eats noodles in an instant cup format from Italy, real Italy. I'm going to stir it up. This is the risotto. Oh my god, that's rock hard. That didn't stir well at all. Uh, pesto, you're going to need some more water, I think. Ow, that's hot. The pesto is rock hard as a big block of something. Don't worry, guys. I'll give you the reveal once I get down in there and open it up. That's looking mighty green. Ooh, I hope that's tasty. All right. Ouch. I'm kind of elevating it so you guys can see. We've got the mushroom risotto, the pesto, and the cheese and mozzarella. So it's probably been about two minutes. I'm going to take another spin at it here and mix it up. Oh, that's thickened up quite a bit. I don't know if this is supposed to be soup or just a uh, noodle base. But it's pretty thick. I don't like it that thick. I'm going to drop some more water into it, guys. I'm really stirring it up. I'm trying to get all the cheese. I think that's cheese, the mozzarella cheese at the bottom. I'm stirring it up. Actually, that's not fair because you guys can't see that. I'm just... Guys, I'm just stirring it up. There's no funny business here. It's hot. The cheese has congealed. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, I think I'll give each one a stir too. Tuto bene. Oh, that's hot. Tutto bene. And, oh my god, that's hot. And this is what it looks like. A congealed mess of goodness. It's not orange. Doesn't have a lot of color to it. It's a light, light tomato. And I think it's just about the right consistency for a nice pasta dish. There's a lot in here, guys. There is a lot of pasta. All right, I'm going in for the first bite. Tomato, mozzarella, instant noodle in a cup, straight imported from Italy. All right, let's taste it. Watery, I think I put too much water in here. I think it's supposed to be pretty dry. It's still a little wet. I'm sure if I left it for another couple of minutes, it would sop it all up. Well, I don't have to leave it any longer. The noodles are perfectly uh, well done. It's not mushy yet. It's not al dente. It's not hard. It's hot, though. You know what's missing is the lack of tomato flavor, to be honest. I know there's cheese because there's cheese chunks on my fork. 
it's not salty. There's no overwhelming salt flavor to it. It doesn't overpower you. The noodles are really uh, done well because I'm eating it at the right time. Guys, Tuto Bene, it is a pass. It is a phenomenal cup in the soup under two bucks. I think it was like a dollar fifty, if I recall correctly. I, I don't remember exactly, but maybe a dollar seventy-five. But this is really hearty. Mmm. I'm going to tell you right now, the number one flavor right here. I don't know if I can see that there. That's the number one flavor right there. I love that. That is very, very good. Now remember, it's not overwhelming in flavor. It's not overpowering in taste. It's just the right amount of blandness. It's not salty. It's not overly done. Um, I would recommend. Now, oh no, the risotto. A disaster. I missed... Uh, uh, Oh boy. Guys, this is the risotto. It's soup. Oh, that's hot. And I also didn't get the mushroom base at the back of the cup. There's lots of pieces of little dehydrated mushrooms. Oh, that's hot. You can't see that, but. I unfortunately did not leave this long enough, so I'm going to leave this to the last. Uh, hopefully that gets congealed a bit more. Let's move on to the penne. The penne flavor. Again, uh, my mistake. I added more water. Oh, actually it's not that bad. It's a pale, I want to say it's a Pale puke green, I'm sorry, I said it. But I, my suspicion is that this is a very mild pesto flavor. I can smell the basil, fresh. Oh yeah, that smells like basil right off the bat. All right guys, it's, it's congealed enough. Pesto, tutto bene, all is good. Everything's good. Oh wow, you taste the basil. It's a light, if you don't like basil, this is the first time that you might actually like basil. We are trying this out for the first time. Mmm. Like I said, I don't really like basil or I don't really like pesto. It's not oily guys. If you had traditional pesto, you know it's pretty oily when they mix it up in the pesto sauce, garlicky, that sort of thing. This is not that flavor. It is pesto, very light. This is authentic pesto pasta in a cup. Under two bucks, probably including the tax. And I'm done eating in five minutes, maybe at best. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to tell you that this is on par with the tomato mozzarella. Tied for first place or tied for... The taste award. Tutto bene. Tutto bene. Oops, I think it's this way. Tutto bene. You guys make great noodles in a cup. It's convenient, it's fast, it's relatively inexpensive, and the flavor is there. Now, the good thing about it, it, it does have, it does not have a overly salty flavor to it that's all you flavor you get tomato mozzarella flavor out of this you get the basil out of 
that pesto. Now, you're going to ask me, what about the rice? Well, guys, what about the rice? It's been a couple of minutes, and unfortunately, it's still, unfortunately, as soupy as it was. My fault, I think I put too much water into it, but I'm going for a, I'm going for a cupful. Oh, wow. This is like chicken and rice soup from Campbell's. It's I put too much water into it. It's not like a real risotto. There's no snap into the rice. It's just basically rice and mushroom soup. Uh, unfortunately, a little too soupy for me, but... Now, what they have going for it is it's got lots of mushroom flavor. So if you are looking for that mushroom flavor, this is it. Um, and you know me, I really like my mushrooms, but these other two are a little more balanced than the mushroom risotto. So honestly, tied for first place comes up as a good option as well. Folks, that was the review of Tuto Bene Instant Noodle in a Cup straight from your noodle area, your pasta area at your local grocery store. Like I said, I got ours at Nose Frills. So that's it. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal buy. Either or, you're not going to go wrong with tomato pesto or mushroom risotto if you like rice. If you want pasta, you're sticking with those. If you want mushroom and rice, that is a good value for the money. I think it's pretty tasty. And uh, that's it for trying out World Foods on the Newbie Views channel. Don't forget guys, leave a comment below. Have you tried these? Have you tried something similar? Because you know, Italy, land of pasta. They brought us pasta in a cup now. I like them. Would I buy them? I don't really buy a lot of cups, but if I did buy them, I saw them, I actually would buy these probably more so than the cheaper Mr. Noodles for 33 cents or 99 cents in a cup. So that's what I'm thinking about them. They're, they're elevated. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for our next video upload. Until then, it's been a tri-channel on the Newbie Views team. Until then, we out. Try these yourself. I'm going to finish this off. Try the risotto. I think I like it. More and more. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're out.